troubleshooting error, iPad could not be restored. Force restart your iPad. iPads with a home button, press and hold the home button. Press and hold the top button while holding the home button. Keep holding the buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. Then you can let go. iPads without a home button, press the volume up button and release it quickly. Then, press the volume down button and release it quickly. Press and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo show up on the screen. Before moving to the next step, we would like to recommend Combo Cleaner. To keep your device running smoothly, avoid malware infections, and free up disk space, we recommend using Combo Cleaner. Available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. Download and install it today at ComboCleaner.com. Grab our limited deal for Windows and Mac users. Use the coupon code PCRISK30 for 30% off at the checkout. Update iTunes or Finder to the latest version. If downloaded from the iTunes download page, launch the iTunes app on your computer. Make sure your iPad is connected to the computer. Click on the Help option in the menu at the top of the iTunes window. You should see an option to check for updates. Click it. If an update is released, a prompt will appear. Click on Download iTunes to get the latest version. If downloaded from the Microsoft Store, open the Microsoft Store. Click the Library icon. Here you'll see if any updates for iTunes are available. If you're using Finder, you can update Finder by updating the operating system. So make sure Mac OS is updated. Update your iPad. Open iPad Settings. Choose General. If you're using Finder, you can update Finder by updating the operating system. So make sure Mac OS is updated. Check your USB cable and connector. Use the USB cable that came directly from Apple. Make sure the cable fits securely when you plug it in. Unplug and then plug the cable back in to ensure it's connected properly. If that doesn't help, switch to a different USB port on your computer. Try connecting your iPad to a different computer to see if that works. Clean up iPad storage. Go to Device Settings and tap General. Select iPad Storage. If the device space is low, remove unnecessary apps. Tap on the app and choose Delete App. Delete other unnecessary data like photos, videos, or large files. Temporarily turn off your antivirus and VPN. Right-click the antivirus icon and look for an option to disable or pause the antivirus protection. You can also select the option to turn it off temporarily. Locate the VPN software, right-click on the icon, and select the option to disconnect the VPN. You can also go to System Settings on your Mac. Select VPN and turn it off. Open the iTunes app or Finder and try to update or restore your iPad again. Once you have finished updating or restoring your device, return to your antivirus and VPN software and turn them back on. Try a different device. Borrow or use a different computer than the one you initially tried. Connect your iPad to this new computer using a proper cable. Follow the usual steps to update your iPad on this Mac or PC. If you can update the iPad, the problem will likely be with your original computer. Factory reset your iPad. Open Settings and tap General. Scroll to the bottom and choose Transfer or Reset iPad. Choose Erase All Content and Settings. Tap Continue and follow the instructions. Restore your iPad in DFU mode. Use the lightning cable to connect the iPad to your computer. Open iTunes if you're using a PC or Mac with macOS Mojave 10.14 or earlier. If you're using a Mac with macOS Catalina 10.15 or newer, open Finder. iPads with a Home button. Press and hold both the power button and the home button at the same time. Continue holding both buttons even after the screen goes black. Hold for 3 more seconds. Let go of the power button but keep holding the home button. Keep holding the home button until your iPad shows up in iTunes or Finder. 
Click on Restore iPad to begin restoring your device. iPads without a home button. Hold down the power button. After 3 seconds, press and hold the volume down button while still holding the power button. Continue to hold both buttons for 10 seconds, then release just the power button. Keep holding the volume down button for another 5 seconds. Release the volume down button once your iPad appears in iTunes or Finder and click on Restore iPad. To enhance security and recover device space on your iPhone, download the Combo Cleaner app. With the internet security feature, Combo Cleaner will protect your web browsing from scams, phishing, malicious downloads, and rogue websites. The password checker lets you see if your password is strong and not easily hackable. This feature will also check the online breaches database and advise if your password is safe. VPN is also included in the app, which encrypts traffic and hides your IP. Identity protection allows you to assess if your data has been exposed. You can check if your data was disclosed in a breach. SMS security filters SMS messages that contain malicious links, which can compromise your data. Photo Cleaner can help you quickly identify and remove similar photos and the ones with quality issues. The Secure Calendar feature scans links in calendar events and notifies you of the rogue ones, protecting your data from theft. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel.